Still ahead, he is the child some parents wish they could have. <laughs> For many reasons. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Happy birthday, Michael. Uh, while many teenagers are spending their summers at parties and traveling, you're about to meet a 19-year-old with, with a different agenda. A good one, though. I, mean, I think some people are surprised maybe when they come in for an interview and they see me. <laughs> he is busy becoming a millionaire. Make that multi-millionaire. Yes. You'll meet the self-made man coming up. No pressure on your son, huh? He, he's, <laughs> or my daughter. He's just dead. <laughs> All right. Plus You're watching CNN Sunday Morning on CNN, the news channel trusted by more Americans. Eyes are going. Uh, he's not old enough to order a drink or rent a car, yet 19-year-old Sean Belnick, you're going to like this kid, has the financial independence few people will ever know. He's an Atlanta teenager who doesn't have to look to his parents for money like that mm -hmm. because Belnick is making millions all on his own. Like many young guys, Sean Belnick enjoys listening to the latest music tunes on his iPod. 50 Cent, T.I., just anything, just depends what kind of mood I'm in. Like I like, I like lots of types of music. And when he takes a break from studying business at Emory University in Atlanta, he watches his favorite shows on his 40-inch LCD TV. Uh, I watch South Park Family Guy, um, I mean, just typical shows. Typical, at first glance. But after riding around with the college freshman for a little while, you start to realize that Belnick is anything but typical. The place he works, is his own business. The people he works with aren't just his co-workers. Hey, Dondra. They're his employees. They didn't accept your call. I, mean, I think some people are surprised maybe when they come in for an interview and they see me. Surprised because Belnick is 19 years old. He's a self-made millionaire and the CEO of his own multi-million dollar company. He did it by creating a website called bizchair.com and with the help of his stepdad who was already in the business chair industry, Belnick started selling, what else, business chairs. He imports them from China, puts them in his 40,000 square foot warehouse and sells them online. I figured, you know, I could, I, you know, I can make websites. I have a connection to sell stuff here. I've, you know, sold stuff on eBay before. Um, you know, why not try selling stuff online and see what happens? So, um, you know, I created the website and it pretty much went from there. Belnick was just 14 years old when he came up with this profitable website idea. He locked himself into the bedroom for three days. He would come out for dinner and use the restroom. Three days later, this chair was there. The company started out with a 1-800 number in his bedroom, a selection of just a few office chairs, and eventually one employee. It now has 40 employees and sells about 25,000 types of products, including office furniture, home furniture, medical equipment, and, of course, office chairs. He says clients range from Harvard University and Yale to Abercrombie and Fitch. Even the Pentagon bought chairs while rebuilding right after the 9-11 attacks. His mother admits she's surprised at the big, successful businessman her teenager son turned out to be. But I always felt deep in my heart he would make it. But this successful, no, and at this age, definitely not. In fact, the college freshman's business professors are amazed. 15, 20 years from now, he could be retired. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever retire from it. I always want to be, you know, working, doing something in it. Belnick says he's just an ordinary guy. I didn't have a big business behind me, but I mean, I like to think of myself as just a regular kid. Who happens to do an extraordinary money-making thing. How about this? Belnick says in 2005, uh -huh. bizchair.com brought in 15 million. Wow. He projects his company will pull in 20 to 25 million this year. Kind of makes you feel like you're not doing enough, huh? <laughs> a little inadequate. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just slacking here. I gotta here get out of my, here. My whole life. <laughs> yeah. Do what am time. I doing these days? Uh, apparently not enough. <laughs>